بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فیلو ہیمنز ٹوڈے وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دی میننگ آف اے بیوٹیفل ایٹریبیوٹ آف اللہ سبحانہ تعالیٰ الواحد اللہ از ون ہی ہیز نو ایکول نن لائک ہیم نور اینی پارٹنر ان ہز ایسنس ان ہز ایٹریبیوٹس ان ہز ایکشنز ان ہز آرڈرس اور ان ہز بیوٹیفل نیمس He is one in his essence. All else is his creation. How could any of what he has made and maintained be compared to him? He is one in his attributes among his creatures and especially in the human being. Signs or symbols of his attributes may be shown in order that we might feel a sense of his qualities and strengthen our faith. Otherwise, The manifestation of his attributes are not like our attributes at all. He is one in his actions. He does not need any help in his act of creation, nor in doing what he wills with his creation. What appear as material and spiritual causes to us are unable to cause anything by themselves. He is one in his orders. and in his justice he is the only source of reward punishment good deeds or sin none other than he has the right to say this is right and this is wrong this is lawful and this is unlawful he is one in his beautiful names none of which can be attributed to other than he Anyone who in any way claims to resemblance of anything else to him is guilty of the only unforgivable sin, that of attributing partners to him. He is the only one worthy of worship. His oneness is indivisible. He is whole without parts. Among human beings, The signs of oneness is manifested in that person who has reached such a height in good morals, character and manners that no one else is equally excellent. Yet the uniqueness of this individual is limited by the span of his or her lifetime. Similarly, people could have existed before and may exist later. And such uniqueness is only in relation to the aspect of character and does not include all possible considerations. So who is Abdul Wahid? Abdul Wahid is the servant who has penetrated into the oneness of his Lord and has come to know the mystery of this attribute, which becomes the key to understanding all the attributes of Allah. Thus Abdul Wahid sees everything within the beautiful names. He understands everything through the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and does everything in accordance with them. He is the master of the age. He is the first of his time after Allah. He is the kutub, the axis of the world. If someone who is afflicted with maleficent imagination, unreasonable fear of everything and a heavy heart takes an ablution and recites this name 1000 times in a quiet place he may find relief assalamu alaikum